So I'm here today with Ian Cole. We're at the Manuka Natural Area Reserve. Ian is a specialist with the Department of Forestry and Wildlife. And today we're going to look at new management techniques in fountain grass control. Now a major part of their operations here in, in fountain grass control deals with this heavy infestation that we have here on our right. And that of course requires a lot of intensive uh, applications and, and management. But another major component of fountain grass control is the control of these incipients that radiate out from the infestations. Ian, could you describe to me how you guys currently are managing these incipient fountain grass? Sure, James. Uh, previously, we've been taking out uh, backpack sprayers with uh, glycophosphate and other chemicals, and we walk along this rough uh, uh, terrain, and we go from plant to plant, and we treat them uh, individually, which takes a lot of work because you have to walk to each individual plant and spray the complete plant through and through. Right. And so today, we're going to see if maybe we can use our herbicide ballistic technology as a new approach to controlling some of these incipients so that your technicians don't have to walk from plant to plant, but instead can pick a, a reference spot where they can uh, target individuals or several individuals from a single point, hopefully making it a more efficient process. That's correct, James. Even saving us 30 meters between plants, if we could just zap them from one line and not have to walk to each individual uh, could save us a lot of time. Right, and that's well within the range of the type of application we're doing today. That's correct. Hopefully it'll uh, prove successful. That's what I hope so too. So we'll, let's find out with our own little uh, experiment and demonstration. Sounds good, James. So we're going to set up a uh, replicated trial with HBT where we're going to administer projectiles that are loaded with the Imazapir formulation. We're going with a lower rate. We're going with a 1% habitat formulation. And um, we're also going to shoot it in this major infestation uh, as part of the trial because what, what you'll see is we have flags set up in the field uh, with different color codes. And so the treatments we'll have set up are going to be blue, which is an untreated, so zero projectiles. The orange is 10 units yellow will be 20 units and pink will be 30 units, the high rate. And basically what we've established, Ian and I have, is that we will target this flag which is centered on a clump and we'll target to hit as accurately as we can the number of units required based on the color code. And for the most part what we've noticed is in the measurements of the diameter of the canopy or of this uh, bunch is about one square meter. So we'll be able to interpret at the very end if 10 units per square meter at the 1% rate is a lethal dose or does it require the higher rates of 20 and 30 units. Okay, orange 10. Three. Rep 3, orange 10. Safety off. Whoa. Okay. Orange 10. Right on. All right, safety's off. We're on rep four pink, which is 30 units. Okay, so that was our farthest range at rep four. And so what we're finding out, the difference between a closer range and the farther range is that what we'll expect to see is a wider pattern. And so that will be, uh, um, be interesting to see what kind of results we get in terms of the dose rate, the level of, uh, of foliar dieback as a result of that herbicide application, and how big our patterns are based on the, the accuracy and the precision of that application. Safety off. <laughs> 